Don't work too hard today, buddy. Plan is to go for a hike today up in the mountains, see where I can get to. Uh, but first, I'm gonna make a stop at Savage, which is uh, in downtown Calgary for some breakfast, for a little bit of uh, some nutrients for the road. And the uh, Savage Cafe is actually run by Chief Lazy Vegan, who is uh, another YouTuber. Check her out, she's pretty amazing videos. Vegan no egg Benny. Hell to the yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are wondering why. You know, why, Ryan? You're nine months into your channel here on YouTube and nobody's watching you. Nobody's interacting. Nobody's, uh, your, your channel's not doing anything. I wonder why, Ryan, do you still continue to try to make these videos? And, you know, the answer I'm going to give you now will be the same answer I gave nine months ago when I first started this channel. Is that the purpose of the channel was to, uh, was to practice skills, because I, I enjoy doing these kinds of things. The last couple of weeks here in southern Alberta has been very cold. We are experiencing some record setting cold in some areas and the wind chill has just moved in to make it absolutely freezing. But I still feel it's important to get out and do outdoor things even on a day like today when the temperature is around minus 23 but the wind chill bumps that up to it bone chilling minus 31 personally i get cabin fever if i hang out indoors too much which is why i feel it's important no matter what the temperature is no matter what the weather is to get my butt out here and get active and do something in nature you may ask me ryan what what have you accomplished since you started the ryan joe show what has this accomplished have you actually done anything I mean, you put a lot of work and effort into this channel, and what have you accomplished? Well, the only thing I think I've really accomplished is I've just learned a lot. You know, I've started to use Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a very powerful video editing tool, learning how all the functions work. And now we're learning to use Adobe Illustrator to try to create t-shirt designs. You know, I'm learning to take a logo and turn it into a t-shirt design. Just headed up to the Spray River Valley right now to see what I can find for some hiking trails for today. seen one thing that uh, really makes me feel proud to be a Canadian in Albertan is that some gentleman from from Asia was uh, driving and he hit the ditch back there and it looks like he was stuck and just a parade of people had stopped and been like hey you guys need a hand can we offer a help to you just in any way we can oh my god there is just nothing better than just getting out in nature and enjoying myself. It's so quiet and nice up here. I just unwind with the peacefulness, especially at this time of year. You know, it's Christmas time right now. There's a lot of hustle and bustle around. There's a lot of extra traffic around stores and lineups and people that are 
just frustrated, especially this year with the pandemic stuff. People are just at wit's end with everything. And this just gives me a chance to unwind and be at nature. Like I'm just breaking the trail here, basically. Nobody else is up here, but uh, unfortunately the snow is pretty deep. It's not all against Christmas. One thing I do like about Christmas is uh, just getting time off from work, time to unwind and visit with family and friends who I still have left. And also, I like the Christmas music. Yeah, I know, I'm a loser, right? You're a loser, right? God damn it. What do you mean you like Christmas music? Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. And since there's no place to go, let us know, let us know, let us know. What's next for the Ryan Joe show, you say? How am I gonna improve things? And how am I gonna make my activism more effective? Well, I'm not really sure, but one thing is I'm just going to have to, first of all, take responsibility for my failures. Because it's no one else's fault that I'm not getting views. It's no one else's fault that we haven't really succeeded in any of our initiatives this year. It's my own fault because I've just kind of half-assed it. So if anything in the future, we're just going to put more effort into things and try to take more time to make sure that things are done right. But I am finding that uh, maybe I kind of underdressed because the snow is so deep up here. It is ridiculous. I'm actually at a place right now where the snow isn't so deep. I'm on a frozen lake. But if I go off into anywhere, I'm gonna have to uh, probably strap on some snowshoes. And uh, one th problem I've been having this year is is trying to find a proper pair of winter boots that are vegan. So if you guys can have any suggestions for that, leave it for me in the comments below and I will check it out. I decided to get out of here a little sooner than I expected today just because my toes are freezing. I can barely feel them. And it's just a kind of a pain in the butt that can't really get anywhere, the snow is really deep, but hey, this is the Rocky Mountains, so that is what happens. Stay tuned, we will be back in this area for some more snowshoeing and cross-country adventures in the new year. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a skidoo. Just a friendly reminder, it might be fun for you to go riding in a one horse open sleigh, but can you imagine it's not very fun for the horse. <laughs>